Howdy do, fella kids. It is the professional Hadoui here. And welcome back to another video. And today, I have something just just a little different. Um, I am writing a 300 swapped Grom. It has a CBR 300 engine just just slapped into there. So I guess technically it, it is a 286. Yeah, because this is totally a... It's, it's not like this is a, a no-wake zone right here. Just don't, yeah, don't worry about it, bud. And here recently he put on this golf like wrap type thing on it and it looks killer. It, it It's pretty cool. <laughs> just gonna get all, all of that out of the way and we're just gonna just gonna hop on this thing. Uh, he is actually not on my monkey, though it is very similar. He has a very similar build. In fact, it's the exact same build, but minus uh, just, just a few things. And he has this setup kind of similar to that, and that meaning he has uh, a rear suspension that's more so set up for a man and not a, a, a wee little boy like me. So it is quite stiff. He sits on this, It the back suspension only goes down maybe an inch. And so me on here, it the suspension fails to realize I'm even on it. Oh, it, 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 it books it. It's like it has like m more power or something over a stock ROM. We see to the untrained eye is sitting here. Um, and me on a newer looking bike, him on an older looking bike. People might suspect that we're father and son, but um, I can assure you that we're not. It just thought I would put, put that out there. And if you yourself are like, oh man, I sure wish I had me a 286 Grom. Well, don't I have the news for you? If you or in the greater Atlanta area and you want to have your Grom 300 swapped, all you got to do is provide the 300 engine. And my boy Wayne will hook you up. Yeah, I just had to take him to Gapplebee's right quick. But as I was saying, my boy Wayne at the speed shop will more than happily do a uh, 300 swap on your Grom, but don't ask him to do it on your monkey because, well, he's he's not willing to. Not because he can't, because he says it would ruin the look of it. <laughs> he's on it over. He's in his most aerodynamic mode possible. It's cruising, cruising along doing 70 miles an hour just fine. And it looks like he's full, full, full pin. I have no idea how fast that was. On these 12 inch tires, speeds like that is a, a little, a little terrifying. Holy cow. That was oil I just hit. I felt the back end kick out. There is a utility truck that is preventing knee drag on this corner. But um, let's be, let's just be honest. Uh, knee drag wasn't going to happen to begin with. And he says this thing weighs like 200, 240-ish soaking wet, which is pretty um. Which is actually pretty light, considering the stock CBR uh, 300R that um, this engine was originally in. I can't think of the uh, of the stock weight. Well, but um, well, here it is. Because he just had a, a CBR just laying around. Because the CBR was his daughter's bike, and she wasn't riding it anymore. So he just w w walked right up to the CBR and just went engine yoink, and then slapped it into a Grom. Because isn't that what? you do naturally okay so what I'm hearing is he wants to race He 
he's back there. But this thing is the most fun on roads like these. It's got so much power, we can just have so much fun. And the straightaways on curvy roads. But I'm also still just a little bit too much of a pansy to um, go, go too far into the lanes. Hello there, horsies. How you doing, wet spot? You see, I'm trying not to um, absolutely just, uh, well, um, uh, well, the term I'm looking for is a motorcycle term. It is called um, eating shit, and it is something I am trying not to do, especially on a bike that isn't mine. Holy cow, this guy's gone. Nor am I trying to go head on with a uh, Amazon van. This is a spot that um, isn't too terribly far from my house, but um, I have never ridden this road. It'd be a lot nicer on a bike that I was familiar with, but um, the setup on this is kind of weird. I feel like I'm sitting up really high. Say if you wanted to get similar performance, similar horsepower, you almost had to like four valve like a like a 212, and then once you once you get into that, you're looking at just four thousand dollars just for the four valve setup alone. Then while you're in there, you might as well do a five speed, and then it gets expensive. Or you can just get a CBR uh, 300R um, in case if you just have one laying around, and then you could throw it into here, and you already have a six speed. And then, well, uh, apparently this isn't enough uh, a power for him. So, well, um, here soon, he's a uh, 300 Big Boring, uh, a 300 swapped Grom, which is kind of insane, but respectable. And the funny thing is, is that um, it almost has a stock look to it. I don't know, is, is that just me? <laughs> Well, other than the fact that the uh, that the fork kind of comes in contact with the radiator, but we're we're going to ignore that. But if you guys have any questions regarding this here, uh, the 300 Grom, be sure you leave a comment below, and I'll try my best to answer it for you. <laughs> and so, with that being said, that is where we're gonna start wrapping up today's video. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed. If you did, be sure you show some support by dropping a like. If you're new around here consider hitting that subscribe button and most importantly be sure you hit that booty i will see you guys in the next video peace out